So I haven't done a video on my workshop for a long time, but uh, at the moment I'm building Nautilus uh, submarine, as some of you have already seen on uh, Shipbuilders page on on uh, Facebook. Apologise for the white noise you can hear in the background. That's uh, air, air conditioning in America. Uh, most of the houses have air conditioning, and this is my basement room. And uh, yeah, the reason I say it's the basement because that there, the bottom of the window is ground level. And uh, this is a room that I built for myself. Um, I built eight rooms in my basement, only two by four. Um, but yeah, this is my workshop now. So, starting from the door here, um, we've got like the PC side with all my, you know, sound cards, graphic cards, memory cards, and all the rest of it. Then we've got electronics up here. And I know this isn't of interest to paper modelers, but this is still my workshop. Uh, there's all my pins to stop myself stabbing my fingers. Uh, oscilloscope, good old trusty Tektronic that I used to use. And I've got a, uh, a frequency generator and frequency counter and also another oscilloscope there. There's all my glues and stuff, putty, blades, wood glues and that sort of stuff. And coming around to this is the working area. I've got, uh, I've got my PC which is under here running on Linux. I think it's Zorin. I tried Linux Mint but it wouldn't work so but this is my current build um, and was, I'm really struggling with with the joins at the moment and it's only because I'm not uh, scoring the paper properly um, up here we got an old I'm saying old because it doesn't use LEDs this is really really good I'll turn the light and I'll apologize if it blinds everybody but yeah it's very very good magnifying lens um, the only problem is, is you, I keep bashing it with uh, the scalpel blade every time I try and cut something, but I do use that a lot. Um, old PC, there's my number plate, and again there's ground level up here, so basically I'm underground, but yeah, this was an old disk drive that I put in a frame. Yeah, you know, got to do it. Uh, Dremel, everyone's got a Dremel. And this is my old scanner, thanks to Alan for uh, mentioning about the fact that I could scan the parts. Why did I never think of scanning my paper model parts? Uh, but anyway, this is now plugged in, and this is the current build, which is my, my Nautilus. So let me just open this up, and again, I apologise if there's a lot of noise, but there we go. This is the current build. This keeps it all clean, and uh, stops the cat playing with it and all the rest of it. So, But relearning everything again from what I used to do before, it's a huge learning um, curve, believe it or not, with paper models. You can, it's it's a lot different to plastic. I mean, you make a mistake and it bends and it folds and it buckles. And yes, I'm wheeling around on my chair. So, anywho, this is some more. Uh, that's an old. I'm saying old. This is a, a Amiga 1500, which still runs. I just need to get the keyboard connected up. Um, lots of storage. There's another PC. That this one here is running on Linux Mint. Uh, bagpipes. Yeah, I've been re-hemping all my bagpipes. This here is plastic modeling area the spray spray booth this is just made up by of uh, two by twos nailed into the nailed into this which is made of two by fours this is the whole workshop is just basically two by twos and two by fours and uh, oh there's my balsa collection up here uh, plastic model collection there I say collection and uh, there's one of my old dad's radios that I managed to get from the UK they broke I say they broke it I packed it, so it was my fault basically. But my 3D printer, uh, some paints, and all the rest of it. Spray booth. Yeah, that is lots and lots and lots of of old packaging for scotch. I say lots because this is only a small part of it. So I probably spent uh, the same price as you would spend on a car and and uh, scotch. But hey, that's allowed. Um, yeah, but anyway, so this is my workshop, like I said, it's made out of 2x4s, um, the smaller parts here is 2x2s two two, and I just nailed through the side to join it, nailed through the side, or upwards and diagonally, and uh, so there's my workshop. There's another radio that I'm going to be working on, kites, love kite flying, hence the sewing machine. So this is it, oh yeah, I'm building a, a laser CNC machine as well. Um, I'm going to try and scan some um, balsa bottles and maybe try, yeah, this is my balsa model and I'm actually working on at the moment, the Lancer. But again this is just my workshop, um, not really just for uh, paper modelling, oh there's another piece that I'm building, but uh, you know again this is my little little part, the, the, the basement. So I've got other rooms that I built that you're really not interested in. I still need to finish the ceiling, 
I apologise, I just blinded everybody there. Uh, just need to finish the ceiling, but yeah, this is my uh, work in progress. So not only do I have to have a workshop, I have to build the workshop. So none of this was here, it was just an empty uh, shell, basically. So, and there's the door in. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I haven't moved around too much. And I look forward to uh, chatting with everybody uh, very, very soon. And as you can see there, um, again, I just used 2x4s two by, two by uh, to support the shelves, and a little bit 2x2 two two trim on the front. It, it adds, see that one I still need to varnish, it just adds to the to the, to the to the uniform look all the way around. So, Okay, hope everybody's staying safe. I'm got a little bit stir crazy staying in the basement, but at least I've got a little bit of daylight out there. So take care everyone, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye bye for now.